Welcome everyone to another video. Today we are testing the free version of Immunet. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 99 samples total. And we will be using these samples to test whether or not Immunet can protect us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection and we'll let Immunet sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect any of those samples on its own. After which we will run a system scan and if there's any samples remaining, we will then scan the samples folder directly. And then after that, we will execute the remaining samples to see if the real-time protection can stop them. To start off, let's just make sure we are up to date and we are good to go. And I have re-enabled the protection. Please note that blocking mode is turned off just because by default that is going to be turned off. So we're just going with the default settings, but everything else here has been enabled. And so we're going to go ahead and let it sit here for a few moments and we will be back to see if it has detected anything on its own. It's been a few minutes and I haven't noticed anything pop up. Let's check our samples folder. Looks like all 99 are still here. And so at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan and we will do a full scan and we will let this run and we will be back with the results. The scan has completed and it looks like it found a total of nothing. So... Let's just check our samples folder real quick. All 99 are still there. So let's try scanning directly and see if anything different uh, happens here. Now, after scanning the folder directly, it got 98 uh, positive detections, but let's check our samples folder. It said the uh, quarantine was successful, but if we look at our samples folder, it looks like it is still working on it possibly so we're going to let it sit here for just a moment to see if it can finish quarantine quarantine those uh, positive results when looking at the quarantine list it does show much of the samples here however it looks like it is not a full clean quarantine or removal here so what we're going to try to do is before we proceed we're just going to restart the computer and see what happens I did a computer restart, again, just because sometimes when an antivirus does a removal or quarantine, it has to go through a restart to do a full removal or quarantine. But in this case, it only dropped it down to 90. And so we're going to try this one more time. Let's scan directly again. Give it one more chance. And again, I'm getting a bunch of positive detections. This time I got 89, and they are all saying that quarantine was successful. And it looks like it actually worked this time. We are now down to one. So at this point, let's go ahead and try executing this last sample. And it looks like it did detect it, but it's still there. So let's go ahead and do another computer restart and see what happens. After a second computer restart, it's still there. Let's try one more time. We'll execute it. It's being detected and that time it removed it. So it looks like it did get 100% detection. It just took multiple tries. Just to be sure, we're just going to restart one more time and run some second opinion scans. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it came back clean with zero results detected. And last, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which also came back clean. Just a quick recap, when we did a full system scan, Immunet did not detect anything. However, when we scanned the samples folder directly, it detected all but one, so what that indicates is that the full system scan is not actually a full system scan. Though it is true that you probably could go into the settings and tweak them a little bit, but at least with the default settings, it is not really doing a full system scan. Also, it did eventually detect all of the samples, but as you saw, it did struggle a bit with quarantine, and so that's another thing to take into consideration. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There are many different types of tests and all antivirus programs are going to perform differently in different types of tests. Regardless, take these results and draw your own conclusions. But that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.